Hello guys, I wanted to give my perspective on what is happening in the world of SEO, search engine optimization right now. I am a professional SEO, so I feel like my opinion is at least valid in some way. And I wanted to talk about what ChatGPT is doing and why Google is panicking and what they might do about it, etc. So if you don't know, ChatGPT is the fastest ever website or app or tool, whatever you want to call it to get 100 million users. TikTok, for comparison, did it in nine months. ChatGPT did it in two months. That's completely insane. And it's known that for something like that to happen, it normally means that it is a disruptive technology. If you look at these other businesses here, we have Google Translate, an incredibly uh, ch like industry-changing technology. Uber, another industry te uh, changing technology. Telegram, again, completely revolutionized the kind of messaging sphere. Spotify, as you know, changed the industry. Instagram originally changed the in industry. TikTok completely took over. So what is ChatGPT gonna do in just two months? It got to 100 million users. And to be honest with you, as an SEO, I am worried about this, okay? For one very simple reason, a lot of my searching, okay, I'll give you a really good example, black tie attire. If I search for black tie attire and then I do control F and I search for eye suit, okay, we're not on the first page anymore, which is a nightmare, but anyway. So black tie attire, there we are. This is my page. I, I wrote this. This is for the other website that I work for. And basically what I'm worried about is instead of people having to scroll through all of this information to see what they have to wear to a black tie attire event, chat GPT can just tell them, okay? Which it's pretty worrying as someone who relies on website traffic for their income, basically, it's pretty worrying. But what I will say is that already, I think it's like 60% of click of Google searches don't end in a click. Oh, okay. So 50.3%. I don't know how old this is. This is just the first one that comes up. But 50.3% of all searches end without a click to other content. 5.3% of all searches lead to organic content. So, I mean, already we're dealing with a very, very low percentage, which is why, although I'm worried, I'm not really worried. I'm more excited, to be honest with you. I'm excited to see how SEO is going to change. And I am going to change with it. Okay. This is the important thing that you need to start doing. Okay. So let me give you a breakdown of this. Something like black tie attire is probably not going to be that good a keyword anymore for the reasons that I stated at the beginning of this video. People don't need to um, search through an entire article anymore to find out what they need to wear because they can just ask Bing and ChatGPT will tell them or Google with Bard. Okay, so if you don't know, Google has actually announced uh, in this update here, they're doing exactly the same thing that Bing is doing with ChatGPT. So when I'm talking in this video, I'm talking about Bing, I'm talking about ChatGPT together. This will revolutionize how people search. But, but, and this is a big but, in my opinion, there is still going to be the need for things like my article, which I've talked about loads on this channel, which is not on page one anymore. Whatever, I'll just write two men. Um, articles like this, in my opinion, will always have value because it, it's an opinion-based piece and we're using our brands, which we've tested and which we know are very, very high quality, okay? So ChatGPT can tell you this. They can say, oh, the best cashmere brand is X. But the information from my article will be better because I have first-hand experience. And in my opinion, that is what Google is going to keep ranking for, okay? But I do think it's really interesting and I do think Bing is gonna take a lot of traffic from Google. The main reason for that is because you can't really ask a hugely specific question at the moment, okay? You can't ask something really, really long-winded and really, really complicated into Google because it will just tell you that there's nothing, no results basically. And another thing you can't do with Google is once, you, once you've once you asked the first question, 
it's hard to ask a second question within the context of the first question, okay? So how to make a cake, for example, it will give you videos, etc., etc. But how do I ask another question in the context of that question? So for example, how do I then put sprinkles on top of the cake that you told me to make? That's the important difference, okay? At the moment, if I say how to put sprinkles on my cake now as a second question, the answer is not necessarily going to be related to my original cake, okay? So I make cake and then I ask Google how to put sprinkles on it. It's going to tell me how to put sprinkles on potentially a different cake, okay? And that's what Bing is going to revolutionize with ChatGPT. And in my opinion, that's the reason why Google will lose some traffic to Bing, okay? Unless their job with, unless they do a very, very good job with Bard, okay? The last question I want to kind of answer is, should you continue focusing on organic SEO or is it dead? The first thing I would say is it's, it's not been as good as it was for a long time. And there are many, many better ways to get traffic, such as YouTube, such as video, such as Instagram, such as shorts, et cetera, et cetera. They will bring traffic to you more quickly anyway. But as a long term strategy, I don't think anything is going to change with organic SEO. Just think of it from this perspective, okay? Who are you going to trust in the future to give you a suggestion of buying a sweater? Your a website that you know has good fashion, good fashion taste, similar fashion taste to yours, et cetera, et cetera, or the AI. You're obviously going to continue trusting the people that know best. And that's what Google will continue to rank. And also, to be honest with you, if Bing grows as a search engine, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be mad about that because I'm indexed on Bing, I'm indexed on Yandex, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, key takeaway from this video is make sure you're indexed on Bing because I have a feeling that Bing's traffic is going to skyrocket. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.